How's it going guys? My name is Derek from Addictive Tips. In this video we will be talking about how to edit user information on Linux. So in this video I'll be talking about three different desktop environments and how to do it. But uh, if you want to do it through the terminal please just check my article. Uh, in the terminal you'll be able to change the username and everything quite easily. Whereas on the uh, well on the desktop environment way, some ones are less, uh, they're less capable than others. Like on KDE, you can't change the username, but you can change like other information. On GNOME, you can change, uh, you know, the username. And uh, on Cinnamon, it's a little, a little bit different, but uh, we'll be covering those three ways here. So on KDE, if you want to get started, open up your application menu, type in user and launch the user manager. From here, you can see there's my name. We're going to go to this user though. So his name is John Doe. So if I want to change it, change it to say Carl and I can change his username uh, through the terminal but uh, and it won't let me do it here but I can change his real name and I can also change his email and I can change it to Carl at Carl.com <laughs> if I want to I can change his password give him a new one let's go Carl 62 for some reason and I can set him to be administrator and log in automatically and click apply. And there I can enter my username and it will save the settings in SDDM. And of course, if you wanna just get rid of a user entirely, you can just click the delete button and uh, it'll be completely gone. So that's how you change user settings on KDE. It's not exactly the most free, uh, you know, I don't know if it's because of my system entirely or the security settings, but I can't seem to change this part, but uh, you know, it differs per system. Let's move on to GNOME. So if you'd like to change the user information for your Linux system on GNOME, what you do is you start off by going to the activities area, then you type in user, and this should show a bunch of different settings. Uh, you can go to users right here, and that will launch it. And uh, once the setting app launches, and it, it, may, it may take a bit of time because uh, I'm running this through a VM, but uh, once it opens up, you need to click the unlock button. Now unlock is going to give you unrestricted access. So once it's unlocked, I can change things like the user the user's real name so I can change it to Derek instead of Derek Diner or I can change it to Carl once again I can change the password by clicking on the password box I can change automatic login and uh, that's how you change user information on GNOME. You can also add a new user by clicking this here and you can select the remove user button as long as you're not logged into the same user on GNOME to delete it. Let's move on to Cinnamon. So if you'd like to change the user information in Cinnamon, going to want to open the menu here for users enter your password and uh, from here you can see the user information so I can change the name of my user change it back to Derek by clicking on name I can click on the password and change it if I want to do that you can also generate a secure password which is pretty cool you can change the account type from administrator to standard and you can change the picture over here you can also change what groups it is in if you so choose you can add a new user such, uh, you know, by clicking add. Uh, let's do one right now. And uh, you can set a password for a new user, like so. And uh, if you want to delete a user, highlight it, click delete. And that is how you modify user information on Cinnamon. We did this for GNOME Shell, for KDE Plasma, and for Cinnamon. Those are the three main desktops that have the best uh, user switching information and ones that you probably will be using. If you need to do this on another desktop environment, not a lot of them aside from these three have user managers, so you're going to need to follow the terminal information, and that is in my article that I wrote in the description below. So please check that out, and I will see you guys in the next video.